Hey everybody, welcome back to the Family Mart Podcast. I'm Chris. And I'm Jay. Welcome back. I want to start the show. Oh wait, we got to, hold on, before I say something. Big shout out. Thank you to uh, Alexis, Crack Addict, Just Shields, Emily, our new patron, Jess, and STK for executive producing this episode of the podcast. Yes, sir. Thank you for being our patron. Guys, we want to let you know that we're going to start doing bonus episodes for patrons only. So if you want to check it out, go to Family Mart Podcast. Just kidding. Go to patreon.com slash Family Mart Pod. Get bonus episodes. Get the bonus episodes. We uh, have committed to it. We discussed yeah. over the weekend. Mm-hmm. Let's really commit to the extra episode. <laughs> Let's do it. And uh, we'll we'll really do it this time. Let's start with this, Jay. I want to ask you this. And I'm, and I'm going to ask you this. I'm not trying to call you out. I'm not trying to say anything about you. I'm just genuinely curious. I know. I, I really mean it. No, nah, this is this is how not, you set no, it up for no, something no, no, bad swear, most not, of the time. No, I swear. What is your understanding of meet time? Like, if we say we're going to meet at 930, what does that mean to you? Does that mean leave at 930 or leave? Uh, Try to get there at 930. But if you don't, it's cool. But if I don't, my bad. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But no, because honestly, because for me, when whenever I uh, agree with somebody to go to the gym at like, let's say 10 o'clock, I'm leaving at 10 o'clock. Oh, okay. So Which is, it's not good. Yeah. I'm saying it's not it's not a good thing that we that I do that. It's but, just it's roughly around that time. Right. But it's oh, it's 950. I got 10 minutes. But when really the meet time is at 10, like you're supposed to meet at 10 o'clock, not leave at 10 o'clock. I just feel like sometimes in the morning, there's a lot of random shit that could happen in the morning. No, but you're not late to work, though. And by random, I mean, you'd be surprised. And by random shit, I mean, like, I'm drinking coffee. And then after you drink coffee, it's a diuretic. Yeah, but. And then I got to poop right before I leave. Yeah, but we got to start. We got to get better. All right. Okay, fine. I'll just I'll just say it for myself so you don't feel as bad. I got to get better at meet times. If someone says 9.30, I will be there at 9.30. Not I will get ready at 9.20 and I'll try to be there at 9.30. I gotcha. I even was super conscious about it today. Like, all right, I got to get there at 9.30. And then I was uh, I got dressed at 9.12 and I was like, oh my God. No Why? Way. See, that's the problem though. Why at 9.12? I was drinking coffee from 9 to 9.12. You couldn't do it at 8.30? Or you were waiting for the two hours when your body is ready to ingest caffeine. I thought I was already dressed. And I was like, you know what? I'll wear something different. So I put on this nice little retro yeah, Jay, Barcelona jersey. Yeah, Jay looks very thin. You want to show him or not? My thinness? Yeah. Shall I uh, yeah, go stand to the up. side? No, no, stand, stand? Yeah, stand Oh, up. God. When I stand, it's going to show everyone looks fatter on camera. That's not true. Isn't that a saying? Are you fat phobic? The camera adds 10 pounds. Look, Jay looks mad thin. He's wearing jer- uh, a jersey and really small shorts today. What? You're moving this. Sorry, I was trying to move it out the way. And uh, he just, I, I told him when he walked in the house, he was like, I was like, Yo, you look mad thin today. And he's like, oh, Thank thanks. You. Thank you, King. Do you feel like you're not, you feel a little, have you been feeling thick these days? Yeah, I've really? been feeling, feeling thick. Does it not look that way? <laughs> not really. Well, I guess that's a win. That's crazy. I've been like, feeling you, thick. You probably, though. you probably, is that the thing that you carry around? <laughs> well, not literally, but. <laughs> It's heavy on my mind and heavy on my body, dude. <laughs> is that the like? Is that the thing you're self caught? Like you know how everybody walks around with a little bit of self consciousness about something. Mine is yeah the how I've been feeling thick lately. And prior prior to coloring my hair, it was about having gray hair. So I just went That's all in. crazy because th- those are the two things I don't like. Those are the last things on my mind when I think about you. We're like okay, he's probably insecure about that. Yeah, well, like, <laughs> it's yeah, like not on my mind. Yeah, because I don't think that you're fat or that your your hair was gray. I didn't even notice, and now it's like almost all gray. <laughs> yeah, it's all gray now. It's not, like Earl Gray. Now. I just <laughs> nice dude. Sorry, that was a pro. That was move. a bad joke. Not, what? I like that. I'm a T man. Gave, you gave me you gave me the pity laugh. Whatever. It's no, fine. it's fine. It's fine. you know the difference of my laughs. Yeah, it's not a it's not a genuine laugh. It's fine. I thought it was a good one. Earl Gray. <laughs> I'm doubling down on the gray. All right, now no one can say shit to me. Yeah. Um. When Jake got here and he opened up his laptop, I saw that he was on Tumblr. I didn't know that you were still browsing the Tumblr. Back in its heyday, I wasn't really on Tumblr like that. Oh, now that nobody's on it. No, 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 it's not even that. Uh, It's just a different source than what I've consumed. So it feels a lot different Mm. than than the other timelines. Is it kind of like your mood board? In a way... Uh, Because it's like on Instagram, it's like I'm still following things that don't exactly inspire mood. Um, So it's like Tumblr is like strictly for like visual art. Yeah, I get it. You You like Tumblr. Nothing wrong with that. I do like it. I wasn't shaming you. You were. No, I wasn't. Like, look at this dude using this ancient... No, I post just, MySpace I just haven't, era. I just haven't seen it in a while. That's all. You know, uh, something uh, I want to point out that um, people think that we're uh, th- there's something going on between us. Partners? Huh? Huh? 
Like that? No. Something like, going on between us? Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you're trying to. You're, I thought you were talking about how people ship us. No, 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 no. I'm saying ship. like people think that there's something wrong. Like there's there's some underlying tones between you and I. Uh, this is definitely like how, we have some beef or something. This is how we are naturally. Yeah. And I think when we came back from hiatus, we we're like still like, how do we be ourselves? And now we're just a lot more comfortable. Yeah. So if I say something mean to you. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't take it personally, but you know, yeah. some people don't know us. Some people have never met us. Well, yeah. I would say most people have never met us. Right. So, but yeah. So, I mean, this is just, we're just getting more comfortable on the microphone and recording the podcast. So if it sounds like Jay and I are being mean to each other, this is, we're getting closer to how we are in real life. We're yeah. very, I feel like we're to the outside looking in, we're pretty mean to each other, but that's just how we have fun with each other. Damn, I wonder if, like how it really looks. Because like every time I edit it or watch it, I'm like, you know, this is just us. Yeah. But if it really looks like these guys are just fucking mean to yeah. each other. I mean, time. if you add in Mers, if you see how we are with each other, with all of us, we're. I mean, it can it can get it can get kind of mean, but we know we're all joking. Yeah, I don't want to say that it turns negative because I don't think anyone comes like leaving a session being like, well, that was negative as fuck. No, 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 I, it's not that way. It's just the d- dynamic. The dynamic for yeah. sure. I don't it, have a problem with that. It's funny, dude. We're just joking. We're just joking. It does. So if you're listening, obviously I wouldn't want to put out an episode where one of us felt uncomfortable the entire time. Like, damn, dude, in minute 13, you started ragging on my, my, uh, ragging, ragging on my nips. And then I just couldn't get it off my mind the rest of the time. Um, ragging on my nips. <laughs> that might be the title ragging on my nips. <laughs> <laughs> Jay has had a, a, a recent chicken wing traumatization that I want to bring up you want to uncover this yeah let's let's talk about your chicken wing trauma of okay so cwt anyone that's a one since day one knows i'm a chicken wing connoisseur yes you are and uh i had some a few weeks ago my brother was he hit me like yo you want some wings from this spot that we go to sometimes sexual my brother from my brother (laughs) yo (laughs) yo you want some wings (laughs) yeah and then i was like yeah dude pull up with the lemon pep and the g parm and then I was eating them just as, as one normal, does. They, as one does, you should eat them. I don't know what else you're going to do with them, but maybe some people blend them in a shake. I was eating them. And a few hours later, I was like, dude, something's not right. Yeah. I started throwing up. Oh my God. I didn't know you were throwing up. I had like, I threw up like four times in the middle of the night. I had a fever. Damn. The next day. COVID I, wings? Dude, maybe. Maybe the, the real. Did pan- you get the vaccine? The chickens aren't vaccinated. Oh my Anti-vax gosh. chicks. <laughs> they, no masks? <laughs> Fucking chickens, dude. Six feet apart. So you, were, you got food poisoning. Yeah, definitely. And then Or I- was it food poisoning or were, what, could it be something else? What? Are you allergic? Well, it's po- I haven't really had chicken wings to that extent since then, so I, I can't say. Yeah. Like, what am I allergic from in the chicken wings that I don't eat anywhere else? Well, they could just... Well, is that your first time eating wings from that spot? No, I, I've eaten there plenty of times. Oh, okay. So it's... Okay. I don't want to rat them out either, because I ain't no narc. Yeah. And Are they're also so- owned by fellow South Asian people. Oh, there you go. So, okay. Well, yeah, maybe they're just undercooked or something? Maybe. It could have been. All right, because he ate his and he said he felt fine, but that dude's stomach de- demolishes anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, the, I spent like the next 48 hours like in a like incubated. I was just like fucking stuck in my, my bed. You feel like you were going to die? The first night I felt like this is it, dude. Wow. I'm going to throw up. I'm going to throw up my heart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. So what did you eat after the wings? Like after it all uh, settled and, and you, I was you know. drinking like just like soups, like very light soups. Yeah. I was having like yogurt if I could. Wow. You were fucked up. I didn't even know this was going on. Yeah. And I was like still banging out the pod, dude. So I, that was going on. And then we had wing stop the other night or y'all well, had, had wing, wing stop, stop the other right? night. And even though I already ate, I was like looking at you guys. I can't even yeah try to eat it's like a vegan looking at somebody eat meat yeah i was so i'm still traumatized and i'm kind of scared that i won't eat chicken wings like that for a while that's crazy i I didn't know it was that bad for you i mean i knew i remember what you 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 said that you felt sick from the wings but i didn't know that you were throwing up and fucking yeah i just didn't want to i didn't want to let you guys know i was weak you know you don't have to let us know (laughs) (laughs) if i tell the group chat how bad i'm feeling then it's gonna you know, it turns like sympathy. No, yeah, everybody's very. You know, we care about you. I know, but I like. I don't. You don't, I don't want us want to care. That. I, I don't want you to feel sorry for me. I want, man. I want everyone. When I'm sick, I want everyone to feel sorry for me. Oh, Chris, I'll bring you. I'll bring you. I some. love being babied when I'm sick. It is nice. It's, it's comforting. I want people to rub me. I want people to, you know. 
comfort me, bring me soup. What do you, yeah, do you like to eat soup when you're sick? Um, It's comforting. It's like warming your stomach. You know, it depends on the kind of sick that you are. Because when you have like, when you're, when you're, uh, when your throat hurts, even soup is hard to eat. Yeah, that does suck. Like when your throat hurts, everything is annoying. You know the first time. sign of like your throat hurting? You're like, you're just checking. You're like, oh no, did I? F-? <laughs> you're like slowly like. Fuck, I'm sick. And then Let throughout the day, you're checking if you still feel it. Yeah. Which you most likely will feel it throughout the day. And then by 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 the by the evening, you're like, fuck, I'm sick. Here it that's is. The, that's when you start to accept that you're starting to get sick. It sucks, man. Yeah, it's not a good feeling. You don't want anything else other than just to feel better. After yeah, that. it's crazy that that small feeling of your throat hurting is like is, is an indicator that you're about to get sick. That's probably the one of the more annoying parts or symptoms of being sick. Sore throat. Sore throat. Yeah, I could bear with like a runny nose, even like a cough, but like the sore throat, bro. Yeah. That's why we got to have sympathy for, you know, the deep throaters. <laughs> They're leaving the session like, damn, my shit the is session. fucked up. <laughs> They're leaving the session. I'm sure there was a link up time. Yeah. You think at any point during the session, they're like, man, I'm going to shave my head because this is holding like having my hair tied back is just not the move anymore. I'm just like, I'm I'm tired of having to hold it. They don't want to hold it for me. Yeah. Let me just shave. It, it reminds me of this of the t- of this TikTok that I recently saw of this girl. It's crazy how sexual girls can get on on tiktok on socials yeah it's it, it's not mind-blowing but it's like it's crazy to see because this girl was like you know she was pretending she was giving some head and she's like you know when your boyfriend just holds your hair up for you and i was like wow this is people are really people are really going for it this is really explicit y'all are way too horny on tiktok <laughs> right you know like y'all are yeah. posting this not and you know like what kind of reaction do you think you're gonna get from this you you're, know you're gonna get some reaction you're just gonna get some like uh like simp boys following right yeah i, I mean i guess you know it is kind of nice to have some some simp yeah maybe if it helps boost the boost the morale of the page you know give yeah, you some give, confidence give, for the next post give you some views some views i need the views I but guess. if you don't so let's say you do that let's call it a thirst trap i don't I think that's a little bit further than a thirst trap because you're like, that's pretty it's, deep. That's yeah, pretty it's way, far. It's way more suggestive than the thirst trap. Yeah, that's what it is. Suggestive. So what are you going to do after that? Like you can't just do like a day in my life after that, like not not being sexual. <laughs> oh, like the content? Yeah. Like what kind of content are you posting after you do this, the super sexual one? Yeah. I don't know. Like what are you trying to get into like lingerie? TikTok? Yeah. Like, or I mean, I guess you don't have to. Yeah, I guess you, you do don't have you to. You do whatever the fuck you want definitely overthinking i like it. when we figure when we when we really work this stuff out you know if you if you want to do a sexual tiktok and then after that you don't that's fine you don't that's fine yeah and i guess you don't have to monetize but you also have hobby. to you also, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> you also have to remember i forgot what i was gonna say fuck i really don't care you also have to remember that uh the people who are gonna see it that's true your dad might see this. Is this something that your your dad you, you you'd be proud of if your dad saw? Probably not. I mean, on one hand, it's like my dad shouldn't be on there anyways. Eh, uh, no, okay. maybe. I mean, because imagine if like for some reason your TikToks are just playing on a huge screen somewhere. Well, which they could they, they could, could be. be. I don't know if anyone knows this, but this dude's grandma TikTok oh, God. went to. 50 trillion plays dude and it went on every facebook uh story thing it went yeah. to like on now this and it showed him like taking care of our grandma and is on news channels people reached out to play and no one even knew it was my guy right here listen man this is not that's not what i wanted though i wasn't trying to get on now this no i, I know you didn't want it yeah but but it, that's those are that's the repercussions. how that's how dad's gonna see it yeah i feel you and then now if you end up on now this for making a, a fake blowjob video <laughs> then your dad's gonna be like watching channel 69 being like yo what in the world why is right. this on now right. this You're right she had no intention of being on now this but i was now just he's up there like yo i was just trying <laughs> <laughs> i was just trying to pr- promote my of bro yeah that's true that's crazy man of is you know i that's the first thing that i check for when i see tiktoks like that that the the very you know suggestive tiktoks i go straight to the page i look for the link tree or the beacons and if the they have the bio, of and you're kind of like oh now it makes sense yeah now it makes sense yeah you're just promote you're you're promoting your your uh your brand but if I you get it if if but if you click on it and you see like the last post was like a very wholesome family post and you're like well this is well, just kind of you know well why can't you do both both though why can't you be wholesome and sexual at the same time i'm saying you can do both it's just that they're so contrasted it's uh it's jarring jarring. Mm. your favorite word yeah jarring there's a lot of things in this world that are jarring but i mean 
Yeah, we're tip jarring. jarring. Tip jarring, good one. <laughs> Back to the tipping thing, dude. Dude, okay, first of all, I want to make it clear. Well, I think we did make it clear because that was just a 30-second clip from the last from the last time. Very out of context, yeah. So last episode, Jay and I were discussing whether or not it's, it's okay. It, should we be tipping waiters that only bag your food? For the pickup. For the pickup. You know, we got a lot of backlash on Instagram mostly. TikTok... You know, because I think it's a, a, a younger demographic. There were a lot of people like, no, I'm not going to fucking tip somebody who pick, who bags my food. Yeah. But on Instagram, people were, a lot of people were upset. We're, we're, a few right, people. Yeah, a few people were upset. And I, and I get it. You know, I get it. Somebody brought up the point that tipping jobs have a lower minimum wage than, than everybody else. So in this one state, the minimum wage for tip jobs is like $5. Yeah. Which is also actually true for here in Las Vegas, which is a big... A city based on tip culture That's so i totally insane, get it because by signing the waiver to accept tips you have to take a big hit on your hourly that's crazy so the i think what it always boils down to because i've spoken with several people over dms and i tried to skim over the the comments or whatever but it always boils down to service food service industry workers always just need to get paid more yeah but because to put it in the hands of the people to make sure that they go home paid properly is ridiculous. It's ridiculous to yeah. It's to put it's it in the hands of not the employer. Like what is like in what way does that make sense? Yeah. And it shows that it, like the younger people are starting to kind of not accept it or push back against like why do we even tip in the first place? Right. Uh, Which then leads to digging digging deeper into minimum wage and and properly paid employees yeah it's a way bigger issue than just tipping it's like a it's systemic and that's uh the source of a lot of things yeah but no but i think by us bringing it up or younger the younger generation speaking out about why 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 do we even tip in the first place yeah it it helps the conversation it helps the conversation because now people are questioning like oh why do we tip oh it's because they don't get paid properly oh well let's do something and then that'll spark the idea of someone who's eventually gonna try to make that change right instead of just tip instead of just tipping and making it weird and just like passing on the the you need to tip because it's right because that's what we've always been doing yeah i don't want to tip because that's all that's something that we've always been doing i want to tip knowing that these people are not being paid properly right and that's odd yeah so i get it i get tipping yeah i get it the thing that i don't get with and i had the the thing that i had a problem with with somebody in the comments of that tip video is that somebody was like if we don't get tipped properly we'll uh we'll break your zippers yeah because he worked for like the disney line cruise or something yeah and if he didn't get properly tipped they'd like break their bags or something which if you think about it's like it's ass backwards like that's how you get that's how you get further away from getting tipped is by giving poor service yeah you're supposed to give great service so that you get tipped now you're going yeah it's going full circle in the worst way right you get a negative 360 so that when those people get their bags fucked up they're like oh i'm never why would i tip ever yeah why would i tip the guy last time he just broke my zippers and right. handles so now they're gonna continue the rest of their life never tipping because of the negative experience they had with you i just thought it was so like i didn't get tips, so i'm gonna ruin their property yeah. that the, like what is that also by not saying anything like how are we gonna how are we gonna push the, the the movement forward how are those people gonna know that they should be tipping or yeah exactly how are they supposed to know that they should be tipping because there's a lot of services out there i'm like oh i didn't know that those people get tipped yeah i didn't know that was a tipping job because it's so i never saw the disney line cruise baggage <laughs> handlers how yeah. am i supposed how to know how are you supposed to tip them yeah that's true that's why it's 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 a it's a sensitive subject for sure and i can definitely see why i knew it was all i always knew it was a sensitive subject but now I really, I feel like I have a better understanding of the entire thing. I try not to look at the comments, but I saw the <laughs> beginning line and it called us chopsticks. Yeah, it's crazy. I was like, come on, dude. I mean, come on, dude. Look, I didn't, I was, when I first saw the comment, at first I could feel that my I was going to get too caught up in it. And I was like, let me just not. Like, let so me you just, didn't read the rest of it. I read it. I read it like two or three times and I was like, okay, I'll just disconnect from it because I know like t- two or three years ago, this would have weighed heavy on me. Yeah. And I probably would have been out of it for like the next day. Yeah. But I was like, fuck this dude. Like just w- with his comments alone, he could already kind of show like how to take it out on us for starting right. the conversation. Right. People are getting mad at the player, not the game. Get mad at the game. All right. Get mad at the game, dude. Get mad at the system, bro. The system. Yo, fuck the system, fuck bro. The Rage system, against bro. the machine, we're bro. All, we're all, we're all in the system, dude. Yeah. Swimming. You know? Drowning. So- Speaking of systems, I don't know if, if it's really a system or not, but I heard um, Miley Cyrus and Playboy Cardi. Did you hear about this whole Lollapalooza thing? 
No. So Lollapalooza happened recently over the weekend, and they put Cardi first, right? He was performing at this stage, Sick. and right after was Miley Cyrus. And Sick. the demographic of Miley Cyrus is obviously like completely lot, different. Completely different. I would of, think a lot of younger girls. So okay. and you know Cardi fans like they're there for the rage. They're yeah. there to rage. They're, they're they're there to like throw hands black out and i heard that a lot of miley cyrus fans were like they got pushed into the pits they got punched <laughs> because they were waiting for miley cyrus they weren't there for cardi yeah they're, they were they're waiting. waiting to move up for when miley right. started so and like you know a lot of cardi fans were just i guess they were just ha having having fun having fun with no boundaries and we're like involving all the miley fans and it was just a messy situation i didn't hear about this yeah that's kind of funny I mean, it's not, dude. Not, it's not good insane. for them. Here we go. Everybody, Look, both both sides are just trying to do their thing. Right. It's actually Lollapalooza's fault for scheduling it that way. Right, but also, they know what happens at, the same, at a party. At set. the same time, at the same time, yes, you should rage. Right, that's part of it. But that's why you're there. An unwritten rule of moshing is that you're not supposed to involve people that aren't trying to do right. it. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. it, it, it's it's supposed to be a community thing. It's not yeah. get everybody involved. It's only involve yourself with the people who are involved. I do think it's a little bit lost on current moshing culture. But yeah, yeah that because is supposed people to be in hip hop. I feel like don't know how to mosh properly. That's true. That's they true. just fucking. They think it's a. They think it's a fight. It's not a fight, dude. It's. It's not a fight. Like I, I ran across my videos from uh the last Cardi show I was at, um when he, he was performing here at the festival, and yeah, it looks crazy, especially on video. But it's not like violent. We're all just jumping around. Right. It, that's how it should be. And to the people that are like that are gonna say like, oh well, then get out of the get out of the thing. Get out if, of the pit. Yeah, get out the pit if you're not if you're not about it. Well, those people were not in the pit. Yeah, they were they just getting dragged in. in there. Yeah, that shit turns into like a there's like a current that happens in the crowd, yeah. and you just somehow get swept up in the middle, and you're like, fuck, now I'm in the middle of the pit. You don't know where it's gonna break out either. It's not fair. Once Cardi says open the pit and you just see random circles in the crowd like split up, you're like, oh fuck. What about the people that are in the pit that are not even they're not even really fucking with Cardi's music? They're just there. They're to there to like cause mischief. Yeah. That's that's no bueno, dude. We gotta get those dudes straight out the paint. Yeah. Cause that's and not that's not fair. Most of the time they get they do get uh sniffed out though. Really? Yeah, if they're if you're not really getting if you're not really like moshing properly, then people will like push you out. Yeah. I remember in college, somebody gave a, a really, a really well thought out presentation on moshing culture. Uh -huh. um, and that's where I learned the unwritten, unwritten rules of moshing that you're not supposed to like if somebody's down, you're supposed to help them. Yeah. If somebody's not a part of the mosh, you're not supposed to include them. Right. It's supposed to be uh, a handshake deal that nobody's going to get hurt. Yeah. We're just going to we're just here to fucking push, maybe throw a few punches, but it's all consensual. Yeah, it's all supposed to be consensual. So don't include if you're a mosher. Don't include people that aren't trying to. Don't do include it. the Miley fans, dude. They're young. You think of this? You think this six-year-old? Well, maybe not six years old. Why dude. is Miley performing at 10 p.m.? Yeah, I don't know, dude. That's Lollapalooza's fault. Actually, you know what? Miley fans are probably way older than we think. Yeah, sure, but a lot. Of, I feel like a lot of them were young. Got it. That's the ones. At, the ones there at Lala. Yeah, Lala. Lala. You heard about what's happening with the uh, baby? No. Uh -oh. This dude is saying all types of like um, homophobic slurs like, on stage. On, on stage, so before La Plus, I forgot what I think is that Rolling Loud. He's like calling. He's like saying all the slurs, right? And he's saying like all this kind of hate speech. You want to say one of them? No. <laughs> and then he uh, he like gets called out for it naturally the next day by news sources and fans. And then he doubles down on it. Oh my gosh! And he's like not trying to admit defeat. So then Lala comes up and they're like, "Yo." The the baby set has been canceled, replacing it with Thugger. <laughs> Damn. So right now it's so like he, a so big. Did he triple down on that? I think I... he's tripling down right now. Well, what was he saying? Uh... I'm trying to get you to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't. You don't have to say. Was he saying like you know the f word? Yeah, like, yeah. G a y this, G a y that. I, th I think so. I mean, we can say gay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be sensitive. Dude. I got you. I got you. <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> over correction at its finest yeah, bro, i just i'm trying to be dude we got we're, we're is this the right is this the right sign no we're figuring it out man <laughs> is that the uh sign language one this is the flag i'm trying to is that really what it is well this is flag you've been i'm trying to learn more sign language from you no you're not yeah, dude. yeah. you hate sign language why would i hate it i can show you my favorite one right now do it no, this I'm is not. jay's go-to go I'm ahead not, do, it, do it do it do it no, do it for not, the video no i'm not gonna do it for the video
I'll do it for the. I'll do it in the Patreon episode. Okay, because <laughs> pa- wa- go go watch the bonus episode of this episode to see Jay's favorite sign, which isn't even a real sign. Uh, you could literally read it. It's a gang sign. <laughs> You just had to say. Anyways, it's not. You just had to say. It's not cool to be homophobic, and to to double down on it. (laughs) Well, I mean, if that's what he believes in, fine. But you have to cut that. That comes with repercussions. Yeah, you gotta accept that. You know, you can't just say willy nilly without nothing happening. Yeah, happening. That's kind of whack, though. I mean, you know, I wasn't. I'm not a huge DeBaby fan, so I'm not gonna be here like riding for him. Yeah, you know. I saw someone say, um, like. Flute culture is gonna take a big hit. <laughs> flute culture, <laughs> yo, yo! Shout out to the homie Ed Talenti, flute gang man. Is he a big fluter? He's a bit. He loves the flute. Does he play it for real? No. Oh, but off he, the, yeah, off the off the Mellotron or yeah. yeah. Flute is the flute is popular right still? now. Still, it's popular. Man. I thought ask, after mask off, it would have been would have been game. Did you over. see the dude? Uh, the 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 professor, the music professor on Twitter, calling out Lil Nas X for, uh not using quote-unquote real horns in his songs he was like i don't remember exactly what he said but he's like i wish hip-hop artists would just use session players instead of playing off of vsts and then take a day trip which is the producer of the lil nas x song that that music professor was referring to yeah they pulled up the session they showed all of the actual horns that session they, players yeah all of the uh the the stems to the song which was like a hundred plus tracks of just real horns and then the the professor i guess he was getting catching so much heat for it that he privated his twitter oh my god <laughs> yeah you got fucking shit it on dude dude if you because all right they're just coming at people but when you come at people so incorrectly like wrong yeah like but you know what to his defense even though it was recorded by real session players to him it didn't sound like it was Sure. So by showing that it that, that that it actually was recorded by session players, it doesn't mean much to him because it's still to him it sounds it doesn't sound real. Yeah, to him, but like, like I don't know what it what did he want it to sound like? Like we're sitting in a room and the mic is far away. Like I'm Listen, hearing it playing from the drive through. I don't know what he wanted. It was just funny that he privated his Twitter. He was probably catching so much heat. He probably it. saw the real video of like the breakdown. He was like, uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> How am I going to teach high school music class tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. So, you know, shout out to the professor. He should have just apologized. Yeah, just straight up apologize. Yeah, just be like, yo, my bad. To me, it still doesn't sound like it was recorded by session players, but do you, King? I'm going to just hit I it with, with the, the song. The My Fault LMAO. Yeah, that's it. I feel like that's Keep the solution to everything. Just hit him with the My Fault. Admit defeat. You right. This is my opinion. Respect. Because now you're just going to, now you're going to live on forever as a meme, I guess. Yeah. For a little bit. People are going to... Yeah, people, there's... People are on to the next. There's man. always a new meme. Yeah. We got to cut to an ad. I'm so sorry. Attention listeners across the galaxy, all the way from Australia to Houston. Do we have a pube problem? If so, our friends at Manscaped have cleared you for takeoff with their fourth generation and brand new Lawnmower 4.0. Kick your pubes to the next planet with the Performance Package 4.0. The orbits in your pants will feel like you're in zero gravity when you use the best tools for the job from the leaders in male grooming. Join the 2 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped and get your rocket ready for takeoff by going to manscaped.com for 20% off plus free shipping with the code FMP. Ready for an out-of-world experience, fellas? Look no further than the Performance Package 4.0 from Manscaped that has just taken off not only in the USA, but Canada, the UK, across Europe, Australia, South Africa, and Singapore. Inside this package, you'll find their Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, Weed Whacker ear and nose hair trimmer, Crop Preserver ball deodorant, Crop Reviver toner, Performance boxer briefs, and a travel bag to hold your whole solar system. First scheduled for liftoff, new Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer. This spaceship is here to guide you on on a journey to trim your body, balls, butt, and even Uranus. This fourth generation trimmer also features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. The Lawnmower 4.0 has a 7,000 RPM motor, a new multi on and off switch, can engage a travel lock, and is even waterproof. The Lawnmower 4.0 also has a 4000K LED spotlight you can turn on and off when needed for a more precise shave throughout your travels across the universe. The Performance Package 4.0 also includes the Weed Whacker. It's like having a little astronaut to chop your worst weeds up top in your nose and ear. The Weed Whacker is also waterproof and uses a 9000 RPM motor powered 360 degree rotary dual blade system. This nose and ear hair trimmer provides proprietary skin safe technology which helps prevent nicks, snags, and tugs in those delicate holes. Don't forget to use Crop Preserver Baldurin and their crop reviver to help your little planets be on their a game while feeling the sun's heat manscaped even threw in two free gifts to their performance package 4.0 
the Manscaped boxers, and the Shed travel bag. Abort Harry Balls and Buzz Lightyear that Woody with Manscaped. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code FMP at Manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code FMP at Manscaped.com. For a clean trinity and beyond, your space balls will thank you. Are you disgusted by my habits? Well, not disgusted. I'm just thinking like, damn, that's a lot that happens in a pee session. Like what? What happened? A pee, a loogie, a tongue brush. I get that it's refreshing. <laughs> Is you have a problem being human? No, I don't have a problem. I'm just like, damn, that like there's there goes a lot of things that happens in one pee. Well, it didn't happen at, all at once. It I happened know. sequentially. But but yeah, but like the way it happens so automatic for you, it's like routine. Like it's your like people shoot a free throw, they have a routine. Like you go pee loogie okay brush. hold on you're painting me in a light that i don't want to be painted <laughs> in. i went to go pee we had a little break so i found it as an opportunity to brush my tongue because i feel like a lot of people listening to this y'all y'all go with on living your life without brushing your tongue which is where the bad breath chills on your tongue yeah did the dentist teach you that see what you're you don't this is what I'm saying. You didn't even wear your retainer. <laughs> do you brush your tongue? Yeah. No, you 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 don't. Do I don't you, okay. brush it. Okay, do you I, scrape your tongue? I don't scrape my tongue. I brush it. See, that's why. I only learned recently that the back of the toothbrush has the tongue scrub. Yeah, but it's not efficient though. Yeah. They just put a little, a few bumps, and then you think it's it's all good. But the, you think the we all need there. the separate device? Yes. To get the actual hundred percent. I got you. Do you believe that or no? I believe it. I don't think we need it, but you I don't you. need. Obviously not. If you want to live the rest of your life with bad breath, see, that's like you not. could have regular floss, or you could have the water floss. You know what I mean? Like the water floss is pretty next level, and it's probably more efficient. But you don't need it. Fine. Yeah, you don't need anything when it comes to oral health. But <laughs> you know, that's why it's not covered under normal health insurance. You need dental. That's so dumb. Is that why you haven't been to the dentist? That's not why. Why? then i don't like going there you are you scared of the dentist not really i just don't like going what's the difference between not like going and being scared uh one is a fear one is discontent right i don't know fuck the dentist dude <laughs> you don't feel like you need to go in for the six month cleaning i do feel like i need to go but here's the thing with my last like 10 cleanings they all said wow it's mighty clean I'm like, okay, I thought I, I thought I was, it's prevented. They're doing preventative measures. I thought I had poor dental hygiene and then they're telling me it looks like I've, no, I they're just giving my, you a compliment, bro. Yeah. Cause I'm sure they see the bad ones and they're saying like, finally, somebody who cleans, someone who, would you, how, someone where, who cleans and they don't even come here that often. Where would you rank your oral hygiene? Like on a scale of one to 10, of like, 10 being like, you're religious about it. Brushing twice a day, flossing all the whole nine. Ten being like, and going to the dentist is a ten. Oh yeah, shit. I'm probably like a solid six. It's not bad. Six you know? is get. I'll try not to use seven, because yeah. seven's like the standard. Like, oh man, yeah. what does that really mean? Yeah. Well, uh, let's say you couldn't say six. Oh, then seven. Because <laughs> I feel like six is the thing that you're thinking about. What do you mean? Six is the, you don't want to be down on the scale, but you also don't want to put yourself too high on the scale. So you say six, but if you eliminate six from the one to 10, then you have to choose a side. You're either not, you're either not good or good. It's a weird scale because five means average, right? Typically. But, yeah, if, but you if you get a five on a test, you're like, oh, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> What's the last time you got a five on a test? What kind of fucking test was this? <laughs> yeah. Got a five. So I'm saying I'm better than average, but I'm not like religiously Going to the dentist. I feel it. You don't have to, man. I'm, yeah, yeah. You don't, you don't have, have to. to. I was only religiously. I wasn't even going to the dentist. I was going to the orthodontist. I was going religiously for my braces. But now that I parted ways with the braces, I'm probably not going to go as often. Yeah. I was going once a month. Yeah, you for see checkups, the light, dude. Literally seeing the light. Because okay, yeah, you did get your teeth straightened, and yeah. you know, congrats on that. But I'm sure you see, like, God damn, these dudes are just signing or making appointments for me for whatever. Well, no. Well, when it came to the braces, they had to do the, the monthly checkup. They had to make sure all the wires were straight. They had to give me my new joints when it was time to move to the next size. How long were those appointments? Like five minutes? Um, what color bands you want this time, kid? They took... Dude, don't call me kid. 
They took at least 30 minutes. Oh, that's pretty long. It was a while. Yeah, it was a significant appointment. It I wasn't just it. like sit down and then leave. I thought it was just like, oh, let's look at it. Okay. And it was not, what was really nice is that I already paid for the the whole thing beforehand, before I got the braces. So you don't have to bust the card out every time. Right. Because like, then if I had to do one, that every time, then I'd feel like, yo, they're, they're scamming me. But instead, you, you, instead you did a payment plan and it's almost the same thing. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not saying you did it. Yeah, thing, yeah, but, yeah. But it yeah. can happen. It can happen. So if you can, if you can pay out of pocket, I remember when I first paid out of pocket for the braces and the entire setup. I was like, I can't I, do. Shit. What am I doing? <laughs> this is a lot of money. <laughs> that is a lot. That of it's money. not. That is not covered by insurance. I'm literally paying this out of pocket. Braces. Do I really need straight teeth? Should be cheap. But you know what? Looking back on old videos, I do notice a difference in my teeth. Yeah, it's a crazy difference. Yeah, they're way different, and I'm sure you speak different. And you probably yeah. sing differently. Sing? <laughs> There's like no sibilance. Sing. You hear that one? You hate everything about me, dude. Oh everything. my God. <laughs> Here we go. You hate, you just because like Here the, the, we go. the more white your hair gets, the more like old you get. And you just want to hate on younger people. Dude, I'm turning into like, you know, the protagonist. It's not helping your whole like I'm 25 skit. Oh, I'm turning into El old man yells at cloud. You look like Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> you look like an Asian Ellen. I'm Ellen Iverson, dude. Ellen Iverson. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got one. Yo, <laughs> Ellen Iverson. That's not even funny, dude. What? It's like <laughs> it's not. Re it's not very relevant. It's right. Funny. It's like, but but like, what's f let's let's unpack this. Why is it funny? Why do I think it's funny? Because it's really not. Like, if you were to just be like out in public, like Ellen Iverson, <laughs> like nobody thinks it's funny. I think there's a select group of very smart, <laughs> genius people that understand puns. So it's not even a pun. That's a pun. <laughs> How is that a pun? Ellen Iverson. It's not Ellen. It's easy as that. <laughs> they have no correlation. <laughs> Ellen and Alan don't have any, like, they have nothing. There's not. There's nothing tying them together. The thing about these types of jokes is that they're so stupid and they're so, like, low-hanging fruit that by saying it, it's like, wow, that was you a You know how up. I know these aren't funny? Because when what? I try them on other people, like, this is the type of humor that we have. Like, Ellen Iverson is a perfect example. You were just saying, like, you're saying one thing and then you have a you have a play on words of it, right? That's usually our th our 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 shtick. Yeah. And I try to do it out in the wild, and nobody thinks it's funny. And like like Maybe if we're if we're, be like, if we're if we're talking about hydro flask, and I'm like, oh, hydro flaccid. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, but like it, regular people aren't laughing at it. They're like, what? What does that even? What what does that even mean? Look, man, those are normies, dude. Do we want to be a normie, or you want to be a cool person that thinks hydro flaccid is funny? <laughs> That's funny as fuck, dude. Yeah, you're right. you're like, when, it's like, if we were just super casual, it's like a serious moment. You're like, hey, can you pass me my hydro flaccid? I would be like, <laughs> oh my God. We'd give dap. I'd probably run around the room. Yeah. You're right, dude. Fuck the normies, man. Exactly, fuck dude. Fuck the normies, man. Tip them. <laughs> Tip the normies, bro. Tip them off. Tip them. If we could just have, you know what would make it easier for tipping? If we could just have a set amount. Like if... If and I think there is right, like fifteen percent or twenty percent is the proper amount to tip. Uh, it's turned it's went from eighteen to twenty through the pandemic. Well, also at start, like if we're talking about Starbucks specifically, because that was the last comment that I saw on Instagram was like he gives two dollars at Starbucks. Yeah, for every, d d doesn't matter what the drink is, but like if S Starbucks isn't a tip, it's not a tip job, right? Like they're not getting paid a lower wage because they accept tips, right? Right. right. But they s accept tips totally. So how come they don't get a lower wage? I think because somebody is yelling at this at this at the radio right now or the, whatever they're whatever listening, listening to, to it on. They're, they're yelling, yelling at their AirPods. Yeah. I don't know actually. That's a good point that you made that we should get answered on our comments. Leave a comment down below. Yeah, like if if my drink is four dollars, do I leave fifteen percent of the four dollars or twenty percent or whatever the whatever the proper tip amount is? At Starbucks, but then how am I? How do I know if these places are paying them less wage because they accept tips? Yeah, I don't think Starbucks is one of those though. It's mostly restaurants, but they accept and bars. tips though. Yeah. So why am I tipping Starbucks? <laughs> What's know. the rule? I don't know. It's the unspoken handshake this between barista culture. Unspoken rules need to be spoken. The first rule of Fight Club is to not talk about Fight Club, dude. <sighs> they need to have a sign. We are a tip establishment. 
when people talk about like, oh, they should they should teach these things in high school, like credit score and all that. Yeah, include like you know tip what? Culture. Yes, they should actually include this whole. It's not even tip. Somebody somebody got upset that we called it tip culture. It's not tip culture. It's just the way oh, the world works. It's not a tip culture. Okay, this is what they said, right? It's not a culture because that's just how America works. That's a culture, bro. You specifically said Canada doesn't do it. America does it. That's a culture. <laughs> this is why we need you. Dude. Oh my god! Where are you with the? Re- this is one of those where you think of the the remark in the shower. You're like, I, I should have said that. No, I'm saying like this is all. That's all the thoughts I was running through my head every time I read through the thing. I was like, look at him pointing himself wrong every time. Yeah, but I don't have to say anything back because he's already wrong. Yeah, but you know what? You know my condition is I feel the need to understand those people and and like make sure that we're all we leave this conversation on more the same positively yeah. I, if i was gonna say anything i was just gonna say yo have a good day yeah but that also isn't helping because then he's just gonna go on thinking that he's right I, I, in my mind i feel like we need to have we need to flesh this out in the comments right now we need to both leave this conversation having an understanding of each no other. one ever leaves the comment section thinking like my mind has changed i know it, it takes way more than that to change something yeah. Like that. I instantly want to FaceTime people when I see comments that don't like that are of people that misunderstand me. I instantly want to FaceTime and just have a conversation and be like, look, this is what I meant. Like, you can though can through Instagram. Out? Yeah, I accidentally did it one time. Yeah, I accidentally did it too. I was trying to, uh, I was trying to like, you know, in text, in iMessage, you could like look through old photos y'all yeah. sent. I was trying to like look, look through, through the thread yeah. and then I accidentally FaceTimed the dude and he was like, oh, my bad. I was like, wait, no, actually my bad. I didn't Did he answer? Me. No. Oh, <laughs> thankfully. Because I'm sure like it was like, why the why is this yeah. dude trying to FaceTime Somebody did that to me. I was like, I, why would I want to? I don't even know who you are. I don't know you. <laughs> yeah. And those people, that's probably how people are thinking when I FaceTime them. Really? Yeah. Well, whenever you FaceTime me. Like, I don't face. I, you know what? This guy. Should we should we not? Um do like unannounced facetimes anymore how do you feel about unannounced facetimes they're fine you don't care yeah i don't care that's what this guy says and then when he gets an unannounced facetime you see his whole demeanor if i can answer i'll answer just don't get mad if i don't answer that's all okay so you don't mind i don't mind because you're gonna answer if you can and not answer if you if you cannot correct because most of the time i'll probably answer if i'm in public and i have my airpods handy i'm gonna put them on yeah but then when you answer you're like super passive aggressive me yeah hello <laughs> so don't answer dude if you're gonna be fucking passive okay <laughs> so i so guess i should always be happy jolly <laughs> jay all the time <laughs> jolly jay <laughs> the so, opposite so should it be like we should we should just schedule like facetimes and phone calls no i think that's i think that's just what doing way too much yeah because I don't also I also don't think it's necessary to have to block out a time just to take a phone call if it's for like a five second thing. Yeah, but yo, take a look at this. All right, cool. <laughs> do you? But do you think with most things, if it's not an emergency, do you think most things can be resolved in, uh, a, in yeah. a text? Hundred percent. If it's not an emergency, it, most things could be resolved during it. But it's fa- it's a lot quicker if you if you FaceTime. It is them. quicker. Wouldn't you want to just get this over with now instead of having to get it over with later? Right. Efficiency. I get it, dude. All right. I'm wrong. Yeah, you're wrong. So answer my shit. No, I'm very hesitant when I FaceTime Jay. I actually don't even FaceTime him anymore. I just call him because I know it's like it's less stress for my man if I just call instead of FaceTime, which, by the way, when he when I do call him, I know there's still some level of stress in there, even though it's me. It's me. No, no, no. It's the homie. Wiz. (laughs) It's me, Wiz. We run the podcast together. Because the last phone call. (laughs) Okay, if there's a phone call that comes through on Thursdays around 8 a.m. to 12 p.m., it's because something fucked up with the pod. Yeah. Specifically, you fucked up. I specifically. Because I'm not going to call myself. Up. Yeah. I fucked up with, like, the upload last time, and I'm yeah. like, oh, my God, how did I do that? That's totally not like me. I gave him all the, you know, office talk spiel, like, no, it's not me. It won't happen again. But yeah. we'll circle back. We'll circle back. Hey, just email me on Monday. Yeah, he fucked up, man. And I had to call him and let him know what, what, the, what, the, what the word was. Listen, you know, this would all be resolved if we had quicker internet. Oh, yeah. You know? Because, so what happened last week is we, obviously, if you remember, we fucked up. We forgot to press record on the recorder, so we had to do another episode. But then we decided that the first episode that we fucked up, we're going we're gonna to upload to the Patreon. Patrons only. And what ended up happening was Jay 
published on our Patreon the actual episode that wasn't the fucked up episode. So then the Patreon got <laughs> the same episode, the same episode twice. I don't even know if that makes sense, but it's like it's it's Jay because, fucked up. It's because I uploaded the same video twice. Yeah. So I I thought it was the lost episode. It's actually not. It's actually the real episode. And I was like, what is? It, yeah. It's all a mess, dude. It's fixed, it's now. fixed now. It's fixed now. But y- y- still, <laughs> it still happened. Yeah. If I didn't say anything, you would have never noticed. I really wouldn't have, because because well, that's why we have to be here for each other. There were still and a few. There were still a few views on it, and no one said anything that it was the same episode. So idiots dude <laughs> i'm just kidding nah. <laughs> is that a mean word checks and balances is dude. that a mean idiots? word yeah nah idiot sounds way more peaceful than when i say stupid well i mean yeah when you fucking pronounce it like that stupid <laughs> if you just said stupid it doesn't sound as bad all right if i said that dude's stupid versus that dude's an idiot which i don't one know that worse? dude's an idiot feels like it hits harder let us know in the comments which one feels like it's more of a diss. Yeah, I think it's because you're stupid or you're an idiot. Because it sounds like you're an idiot versus no one says you're a stupid. Yeah. If so, you were, so what are you saying? Which one do you which one do you think is a harder hit? I think idiot does sound harder, I guess. When you say yeah. it like that. Because you're a singular idiot. But if you're saying yeah. you're stupid, it kind of sounds like, like a, you're bunched in with yeah. a bunch of other stupid people. Like, okay, we're all like that. Yeah. <laughs> but if you're an idiot, it feels like you're the only I'm idiot. I'm the only one. <laughs> yeah. It shouldn't be this way. I'm sorry, I'm a chopstick. <laughs> you know what, dude? Whatever, man. <laughs> Are we chopsticks? What does that even mean? Does he say that when... Okay, obviously, it, it it clearly shows that this dude affected both of our lives. As much as we want to claim that it didn't, we went on after reading that comment thinking, wow, he really called us chopsticks. Dude, I was just Does thinking- he go out to Asian restaurants and call them chopsticks tips them because they're, they he thought he had good service but then he's like thanks chopsticks does he think that <laughs> tipping makes it all good after that there are people that do think that way like and I he can... goes home and twitch streams with no face cam exactly no face cam twitch screen twitch stream with no face cam do 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 people do, do that do <laughs> do, do. Yeah. that's blasphemous yeah so is that does that make it okay though that like he tip he generously tips but then he ends the night with calling them chopsticks nah. is that does that balance it out it doesn't balance it out i think there are people that feel that way like oh because you got my service i can do i can say whatever i want now like, or like yeah. you got my business i tipped you five dollars now i can call you gook chopstick yo chinese head <laughs> chinese head like people say like some wild shit sometimes dude <laughs> Yo, Chinese head. <laughs> like, that's I don't, a crazy diss, Like, bro. I'm just saying, like, people have some wild, like, yeah, yeah. like disses, disses, dude. Yeah. Is it, so it's not okay to, like, let's say your meal was, like, $10 and you tipped $30, which is a crazy, that's a the very, crazy ex- that's a generous tip. Yeah. It was more than the bill itself. And, and, like, and then you, and then you're, like, at the bottom, you're, like, thanks, chopsticks. Like, no. Like, okay. Which I know, th- th- this argument, it doesn't really fit this narrative because that's not what he's that's i don't think that's what he does no we're extrapolating the idea though yeah i think there is a number that you can call me chopsticks at though yeah if you tip me a million dollars yo call you me call whatever, me whatever bro. bro you can call me yeah you can call me tonight <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah i feel you. but i'm saying so everybody like, can be bought yeah everyone can, everybody can be bought but no one's gonna be tipping like that but you know like, what i can see that though like they're like you know what you did tip me a hundred dollars you can call me whatever you you have my best interest Sure. You're paying, you're paying, you're giving, you're... Money is a wild thing. Yeah, it's a wild thing, dude. Everybody's got a price. It's not even real. It's not even real. Man-made contract. Let's not even get into that, dude. Man-made contract, whole, This dude. is a whole... Oh, my God. Rage so against the machine, dude. <laughs> Come on. Did you ever have an emo phase? <laughs> I guess we haven't... Re- yeah, of course I had an emo Did phase. Did you? Yeah, like, I, I'm like, uh, pre-2010s, Are like, you uh, emo sleeping boy. with the sirens fan? Is that no, the band? I don't know. That might be a different different side of emo. I'm like a Taking Back Sunday. Blink-182? Blink-182 uh, type of guy. Is, that, is Blink-182 considered emo? They're not emo. They're like alternative pop punk. Mm. Uh, but I you think they get that word. pop punk. Yeah. That's the genre. I know, but you say the it genre, all the time. The genre. Off pod, you say that shit all pop the time. Pop punk jarring. Uh, the Yeah, that's what I listened to before like 2010. I'm that's like my my that's thing your, that's my shtick. shtick yeah i get it that's me dude 
Listen, guys, this is where we have to cut it. If you want, if you want to listen to more of us, head to our Patreon, patreoncom slash pod. Bonus episodes every week. We're about to record a bonus episode right now. I know everybody was asking for a longer episode, but Jay and I, we got to please the patrons. Yeah, we gotta we gotta balance the act, dude. Okay, All so right? if you want more of us, head to the Patreon. Thank you for the support, Kelly Kel. I don't know if you're a real girl or not. <laughs> Still, I know we had this little back and forth in the comment section saying that you're. A real girl, you just want to give us compliments, but still, it's just we're not used to it, especially in your in the way that you compliment us. It's very, I th- yeah, it's up there. It's okay. It's different up there. from a lot of online um uh, uh speak. I don't know what I was <laughs> trying to say. Yeah, it's just very generous. That's all. So we just thought it was the homies fucking with us. Yeah, which you know, if if it was a homie that's doing it, like you're going above and beyond <laughs> like for the, the joke this is a, a huge this bit. is a bit <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a huge bit. bitch <laughs> <laughs> thanks for listening to this episode we'll see you guys next time peace peace